Thanks, sir. Right. Congratulations. Right on. Yeah, first, so much. first one. Yeah. Oh, man, that's the best. <laughs> I only did one myself. Okay. Nice, nice. 25 years ago. Awesome. awesome. So it does work. Congratulations. <laughs> that's cool. We used to hang out around here and take pictures and stuff. So we thought it'd be kind of cool in the suits and then the graffiti. Oh, that's cool. Find the dust. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. of a long and happy home. Do you, Peter, take Sarah to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this moment on, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live? I do. And Sarah, do you take Peter to be your lawful wedded husband? to have and to hold from this moment on, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live. I do. Take the rings, please. Give her your ring to hold and take her ring, put it on the beginning of her fourth finger and look at her and say these words, Sarah. Sarah. 
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. With the ring on your finger. And Sarah, take Peter's ring and put it on the beginning of his fourth finger and look at him and say these words. Peter. Peter. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. The ring on this ring. Yep. <laughs> you have now joined yourselves in marriage. May you strive all your lives to meet this commitment with the same love and devotion that you now possess. Love and compassion and laughter are great gifts to share with one another. Delight in each other's company and do not take each other for granted. And now Sarah and Peter have stood here today and made your promises and your vows to one another. And so, by the authority that is vested in me by the state of California, I am very happy to announce you husband and wife, and you may kiss. Never thought it would happen, huh, Mom? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Very good. You did. You did. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so it, proud of you. It happens. <laughs> Good. Thanks, man. Thanks, yeah, I know. Thanks for being here. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. So Peter, as I sit here at the kitchen table, stress eating and drinking a beer, I know without a doubt that these are the vows I commit to you today. I promise to procrastinate with you, knowing we will always push each other to accomplish our goals. I promise to never stop exploring with you, as you have introduced me to a completely new life and our adventure is just beginning. I vow to be present with you, to share the burden when the load is too heavy and celebrate you and all of your accomplishments. And I promise to always be honest, faithful, and true, for you are not only my partner, 
but my best friend. Full and worthy of great respect and honor. Finally, I vow to love you fiercely, deeply, and unconditionally. Because our red string may stretch and tangle, and it will never be broken. Yo! <laughs> so, at the beginning of all this, I had to ask Sarah what a vow was. I understood what it was, but I didn't know what it meant. And so, I learned that vows are meant to be an oath, a solemn promise from one to another. So here's my creed to you. To my light, my inspiration, my life partner, I profess these vows of eternal stoke and love. Stoke? <laughs> yes, for better, yes, for worse, and in sickness and in health, to love, of course. But no, I will not shield you from the wind, nor cover you from the rain. Instead, I will shelter you from the storm and shield, shield you from the hate. For we welcome the winds on our faces and the rain we embrace as blessings from above. Our red string is a lifeline, a metaphysical reality of love unexplained. The red string led me to you and allows me to declare a never fading respect for your being, a trust in your heart, and a promise to be me with you. Sarah, I promise and vow to give you the life and love you have shown me from now until whenever lies ahead, whatever lies ahead of us. I promise not only to be the man of your dreams, but materialize to be the man with the hand with to be the man holding your <laughs> to be the man holding your hand. I love you, and I vow to love you forever, past death, nor never part.
Beautiful, you guys, I love you. Yeah. Great, great talent to work with. 